A total transformation in this part of downtown back eight years ago when the Super Bowl was here. Block 23 was not all of this new development. You see that is all new in the last eight years. We didn't have this huge high rise or the fries or any of the restaurants in this area. Let's show you what the area looked like last time the Super Bowl was in town. If you remember, it was an empty lot. It was transformed into Super Bowl Central, a prime spot for fan festivities. Now, though, because of the growth down here, everything Thing is moving just about a mile north to Hans Park. So this morning we decided to take the opportunity to look back at how far downtown Phoenix has come over the last eight years and a little bit of the evolution to help paint the pictures. We got to talk numbers. Downtown Phoenix Inc. tells me that there are now about 80 new restaurants and bars in downtown compared to 2015. 15 of those restaurants are also in the pipeline. There's also nearly 7,500 new residential units, along with close to 3,000 under construction. And lastly, more than 1,200 new hotel rooms have sprouted up here in downtown since the last Super Bowl. We talked to Ron Price with Visit Phoenix about the evolution of downtown in a relatively short amount of time. It's incredible to see what downtown has has become over the last eight years. A lot of great improvements have been made. The convention center has invested um, a lot of money into their facility. So you're going to have a new downtown. If you're in, if we're here in 2015, you're going to have a new downtown to experience here uh, this year. The city of Phoenix tells me that 10 new high rises are up in downtown now compared to 2015. 11 more are under construction and several others are expected to break ground in 2023. We know five hotels have been completed in downtown since 2015, and there are also about 700 additional rooms that should be opening up relatively soon here in the heart of this city. So bottom line, then versus now, the comparison is quite stark. There's been a lot happening here in downtown Phoenix, and it appears that that growth and development is going to continue well past the Super Bowl next week.